Now to the White House, challenged today during a leadership crisis. A crisis about what the president did on Benghazi, and we're talking about eight months ago when four Americans died. ABC's chief White House correspondent Jonathan Call broke the story that created a storm today. The White House is under fire today for its ever-changing explanation of what happened during the Benghazi attack last year that killed four Americans. And the uh, uh, the, uh, you know, was it? You know, the White House said that information about the attack was based on talking points drafted entirely by the CIA and that neither Hillary Clinton's State Department nor the White House made anything more than stylistic changes. The single adjustment of these two institutions were changing the word consulate to diplomatic facility. But today, ABC News has exclusively obtained 12 versions of the talking points showing they went through extensive edits. The early drafts pointed to evidence that an al-Qaeda-affiliated group took part in the attack and that the CIA had warned about al-Qaeda threats in Benghazi. Secretary Clinton's spokesperson objected, saying in an email obtained by ABC, the information, quote, could be abused by members of Congress to beat up on the State Department for not paying attention to warnings. So why would we want to feed that? After those objections were raised, all references to al-Qaeda and the CIA warnings were deleted from the CIA talking points. The CIA again. original version included references to al-Qaeda. Those were taken out after the CIA wrote its initial draft. And then the CIA wrote another draft. Uh, at Based the, on input from the State Department. Well, but here's, here's what I've been saying, Do you John. deny that? No, John. Republicans say it was all about protecting President Obama from a bad story during the height of the election campaign and to divert criticism from the State Department for not doing enough to protect the consulate. And Hillary Clinton is already taking fire from Republicans. I take responsibility. I take responsibility. That may be the earliest presidential attack ad we have ever seen, but Diane, I have seen no evidence, no emails, no documents that show that Hillary Clinton had any direct role in editing those talking But John, will she be called back up to the Hill for another of those combative hearings? Well, we already have seen one prominent Republican say that she that they he wants her back up there. But, Diane, I think that is highly unlikely. The secretary, uh, the former secretary testified thoroughly on this, and I don't expect we'll see her up there again. All right. Breaking the news tonight. Jonathan Carl at the White House. Thank you, John.